I had an interesting night. I was a, a threatened invasion by sheep at the water hole where I was pitching me hammock. Not the cows then? No, no cows. Where did they go then? The, the, the mysterious cows, aren't they? Well, if they go that way, it's the sea. You know, yeah. I just don't understand it. They then go up that valley and then go up the other side. They must have climbed over the stile. <laughs> I don't know. It's, I don't know. I don't know. I haven't got a clue where they went. But sheep, them. Yeah. But, yeah, you had an interesting night as well, then. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's the first time I've kipped in it, that tent. What was it? A rock Fortress. Yes. Yeah, that's it. Um, and I thought, ah, I won't bother with the guide line. But it was windy, so yeah, you, you need the glide lines. <laughs> so I was out, out and about, I don't know, midnight until, well, you know, on and off, about half past one maybe. Messed about with guide lines and that, and you think, nah. So right. I went, went back to the van, I had a kip in the van. So abandoned the tent. Right. But, yeah, that's all right. I'll, I'll, I'll set it up properly next time. Yeah. I didn't yeah. think I'd need the guide lines. Yeah. Well, you'd have thought it was going to get that windy. Well, it, well. Yeah, well, you were down by the I didn't. I didn't realise it was windy at all. No, I, had, well, I had the odd flap of the tarp, and that was yeah. it, really. No, nah, well, I only really moved the van to protect the tent. Right. You know. <laughs> so protect it. Well, well, isn't it? Yeah. You know, so I nearly, nearly done it just to park it in front. But I was so angry and tired. Uh, that, that, right. If, it, if, it, if it's cold in the morning, it's gone. Yeah. No, it wasn't that bad, but... Five hours of flapping was enough. Yeah, well, it was. It was. <laughs> Bloody thing, you know, but it pulled the tent pegs out of the ground. Yeah, yeah, well, they're they're smallish ones. I mean, you can you, know, you can get all different size tent pegs and. Yeah, well, I might go to. And do, remember, when we're when we're in the woods, we're going to be on sandy soil as well. Yeah, but we're in the woods. Yeah, but it's sandy soil. But you're in the woods. But you're yeah. in the woods. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well, bear in mind, you know. Well, how long have you got to have a tent peg then? Well, they come in foot. all different sizes. Yeah, sand pegs come a foot long. Foot. Yeah. No. Yeah, and you, you you often put them in sideways. So you dig a hole and put them in. And fill them up again. And then fill them up again. Yeah. So as they're anchored in the in the sand. Yeah, or you can just push them in and... Well, let them fall out again then. Yeah. So well, you're right. I don't know. Yeah, well, you know, it's a it's a whole art in itself, tent pegging. In sand. Or you could just use a few sticks. Bang them in. Uh, I'll see what well, it's like. Was well, the only reason I bought it is because they're going away in... Whenever. Yeah. I don't think those little pegs will hold in sand. <sighs> right. Well, I might get some luminous... If, I, if I'm going to tent it, if I'm going to put them guidelines all the way around, I'm going to... I was tripping over them last night. Right. What? <laughs> right. Naked, <laughs> cold, wet, windy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's going to be... <laughs> right. <laughs> going to be more of a... Like, a, I want to see them, so maybe a luminous... Yeah, you can get luminous line. Yeah. Right. On on the tape, the pegs that I bought, they've got luminous, luminous little loop on on the peg, and and they show up brilliantly in the dark. Right. So yeah, yeah it's maybe. just luminous, three mil line. Yeah. Well, I might go to go outdoors and. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, you know. Well, you, no, you I'm going to I'm going like, to go there anyway because you know because I haven't really. Oh, you haven't been to go outdoors with with an actual camping mindset, have you? Yeah. Bought me picnic rug. <laughs> right. Well, you know, it's not that. Yeah, yeah but I'm an not... experienced camper then. Well, no. Well, it's just I don't know. Because we've been we've been sleeping in the vans for years and years, haven't we? But yeah, but that's, that's in a van. It's, that's different. Yeah, yeah. And to be quite honest, having a having the beer keg thing, that's a new thing. Yeah. There's we no, that... normally have a little fire or just have yeah. a gas burner, but having a actual a largish fire. Is it's opened up a whole new avenue of interest, doesn't it? Well, yeah, I've got, I've got an old push bike now, haven't I? <laughs> like a pot stand. Oh, I want a thing, lift lifter, lid lifter, or a clamper, clamper, thing. whatever. What is it? Lid lifter, clamper. I don't know. Camp clamper. Camp clamper. <laughs> I don't know. Right. What it's called. Camper clamper. I want one of those. <laughs> you have a camper clamper, don't you? What? <laughs> what? Yeah, one of those. It, well, lid lifter sounds dirty, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> not, not <in> terms, <laughs> it? <laughs> um, yeah, one of those luminous doings. See if they got foot-long tent pegs, I suppose. 
Well, you know, because you get them on, on the internet, but, you know, I'm, I'm not saying you've got half them. I ain't got well, any, like, you know. But, well, you're not pitched in sand yet, are you? No. You know, but you could you could well, even... Well, you need 20. You could even split a log in half, like like sort of two two or three inches across. Split it in half, drill a hole in the middle, and tie your tie your tent round, your loop of line round that, and then bury that in the sand if, it, if it's real, real dodgy. Yeah, but, I'll get logs there, don't I? That's a, that's a fire. Yeah, but we're in the woods, aren't we? Yeah, not log. How big's it? No, little log? logs. I mean, like, oh, right. you know, about that round, and about, about 10, 12 inches long. All right. So you just bury it in the sand sideways. Right. You know. Gross. I don't know. We'll do some research. It's, you know, something to look up. Sand pegging. Yeah. Right. I haven't really looked into it yet, but I, I've seen the sand pegs, and they're a foot long. What, just on the internet or live? On eBay and... All oh, right. Amazon and that. Okay. And AliExpress. AliExpress. Yeah. Uh, Chinese, Ch Chinese eBay. Chinese yeah. shit web. <laughs> <laughs> you can buy a load of stuff on cheap, but it but don't it's rubbish. work. <laughs> <laughs> but it's cheap. Yeah. But a lot of the stuff on eBay is people that buy stuff from China and then mm. it's, it's the same stuff, it's just more expensive. Yeah, yeah. But they've gone sneaky, they put a 20% bloody VAT on it now. So when when you purchase it, check out twenty percent pops onto it. Does it? Yeah. That's so that, American, that's, though, that's yeah. killed that off a bit. Ah, right. It's still cheaper than buying it here, but. Yeah, yeah. But you have to put up with like a, you know, three Last to ten week tax. delivery. And oh right. Yeah, you're not you're not getting import duty as such, but they are popping the VAT on it at the checkout. That's probably. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Anyway, that's that's got nothing to do no. with the camping. No. Uh, yeah, so we've left it we left it all nice and clear. Yeah. Oh, it's a happy days. Mole popped up by the. Um... Oh, right. Not in. Not in. The no, well, pretty near. No, no, just <laughs> on my fire pit. Oh, right. <laughs> right. So he, he must have gone. Oh, that's warm, isn't it? Yeah. Let's, see what Let's that have is. a look. Let's, Let's have on. a look. You know. So yeah, no, I didn't get one in the tent, which was a worry. <laughs> but one by the fire pit. And a lot of the ash, because it was so windy, flew oh, away. Gone. <laughs> so I didn't, right. have, didn't, have, didn't have much ash. Well, yeah, I half emptied out yesterday, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. You got some saved, didn't you, for, for your banking? Yeah, I don't know if I'll bother it or not. I don't know. Uh, Start taking ash about, I really. That's just... <laughs> yeah, well, I was surprised. It's like carrying your own dirt to a new place, isn't it? You think, well, I just, you know, I don't know. I know it's just a... No, I don't know. Right. Well, I can always bin it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it just don't, it don't feel right carrying ash somewhere. And what was your uh, takeaway from the weekend and have you enjoyed it? Well, no fish. No fish, yeah, that's a disappointment. Isn't yeah, it? that would have been rather nice on a fire pit, on a fire pit wouldn't it? Well, a fish. just catch one, let alone eat it. Yeah. But, you know, we're going to have to eat one. Somewhere. Somewhere. We've got to start catching them again first. Yeah, so. yeah, I haven't caught one this year, yeah. Uh, so, no fish. Although we didn't don't really fish at the right times but then that's just a fishing excuse isn't it didn't catch a fish mm. so what I've done here for well fish in tent ironically it's the closest we've ever been to the beach and we've done less fishing than normal it's weird we? isn't it <laughs> yeah you know what's come, that all about come all this way and you think oh, I ain't gonna go fishing I'm gonna mess about with a loaf of bread it's mental isn't it yeah yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna make an apple crumble. <laughs> Why wouldn't I go fishing? For, I don't understand it. But there you go. Um, yeah, no, it's been all right. It's been all right. Weather could have been a bit better. Yeah. But not... Could have been a lot worse, mind. Oh, yes. So, yeah. Could have been better, the weather, but... Yeah, well, it's still early in the year, isn't it? We can, we can yeah, come yeah. down here a few more it's times. Start yeah. of May, but, you know. Well, I expect we'll be down here in a week or two. Yeah. Well, not next week, but... Week after yeah, but I wouldn't want. To, I'm not interested in doing it next week. But no, yeah, no, I'm not. after that, I'd be more and more up for it. <laughs> yeah, and I think four days. It's perfect, isn't it? Really, it's about right. Yeah. Well, you just about run out of meat, and yeah. Yeah. Because you we ain't got a. Like a things plug -in things turn skanky. Sort of yeah, you know. Well, you, you know, even bringing skank stuff with you, you know, you think. <laughs> anyway, but you know. So don't bring a load of stuff next time. No. What have you learned then? Yeah, well I've learned not to bring a lot of stuff. Right. Yeah. To buy fresh. Much less on the food. I don't eat nowhere near as much when I'm camping, it seems. And I've got a little tiny pot to put it in now. 
Yeah, well, you had a pretty great big stew, didn't you? Yeah, that was that was a big mistake. Oh, how many points was that? Eight, six? No. It was more than four. No, I reckon it was about three. Three points? Yeah. Is there anything you would buy? Um, well, I'm rather jealous of the little of the little um, cast iron pot. That thing you took the piss out of for years and years? <laughs> yeah, yeah, boys. It was too small for what you were going to use it for, well, it, initially. Yeah, yeah. It has, it has suddenly come into its own. Isn't it? And it's the perfect little thing. Yeah, I'm laughing at it, you know. <laughs> Oh well, yeah, hid it away. I was in shame. <laughs> <laughs> the bit's out now. Yeah, out and proud. Out and proud. Yeah. <laughs> well, that for bread. I don't think I'm gonna. I might tackle a bigger loaf, but I can't see the point. No. Oh. That. No way yeah. with that now. Yeah, it's perfect for little buns and puddings, isn't it? Yeah. And it's not, it's not a little pudding. That was a, that was a tin of poi filling. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's not little. You know, you got to get that out of your head, didn't you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, yeah. a Mr. Kipling little tart is little, isn't it? Yeah. But you're not supposed to eat six of those either, are you? No, you no. You have one. Oh, that's one. That's a family pack, that's isn't a it? family pack of six. Yeah. Whereas, I've been through two of them. <laughs> 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 Quite boorish, isn't it? Yeah. So, it's just like, well, it's that size, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what, your cast iron? Yeah, it's a bit bigger than that, isn't it, actually? Yeah, yeah. But, you know, it's, it's, it's a tin, you, you know, a tin for pudding. Plus yeah. custard, so you can have a point of custard with it as well. That's yeah. plenty. You know? Yeah, yeah. You know, that's more than that. And they're the nice sized buns as well, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're, they're well, sort of nice buns. burger size. Burger size yeah. buns. Yeah. Like an old experiment, doing something yeah. in a bigger pot. Yeah. So don't be surprised if another one turns up. What? One of those little ones? Yeah, possibly. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> they got many devices, but they're smaller. No. <laughs> yeah, they're smaller. <laughs> I don't want a smaller one. Yeah. <laughs> There, there are we. I, I, was, I went there, didn't I? Yeah. I, I went Thursday or something to have a look at cast iron stuff. And I thought, oh, I got most of it. Anyway, anyway, so denied me purchase. But then they had super wee ones. You didn't feel so bad about yours, though. No, yeah, my, you know, mine felt quite grown up. Yeah. I thought I'd, I'd give it a go. Yeah. You know, I'll bring it here and just to see what it's like. And it's, yeah. um, it's bloody brilliant. What's the first time I, well, I cooked that, I burnt that leg of lamb on my. Fire pit, yeah. fire pit thing. So that's the only time I've cooked on it. Yeah, and you, didn't you use your um, your cast iron, your Dutch oven up the shed once? Um, yeah, I put beans in it or something. All right, yeah, barbecued beans or something. Yeah, I can't yeah, remember. yeah, yeah, and it's small. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it got hid away, didn't it? <laughs> All right, yeah. I said, it's yeah. small. Shame, having... shame. <laughs> um, yeah, the black pot of the family, that one. Uh, but if you're having let's say a tin of beans but then you got your meat you got your veg on your griddle thing you know yeah it, it is enough it's though, part isn't of it, it? Yeah. it yeah so all oh, right a little uh well i'm not maybe not straight away but maybe not quite but it's, small it's certainly on my mind bigger. no exactly that size exactly that size that's <laughs> the one for you then is it well it it does it hits the spot doesn't it it makes a nice little bun and yep the right size pudding yeah 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 I wonder what else it can do. Yeah, what can it do? What can it do? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So just that, just that then, a small casserole. Um, well, a Dutch oven, like that. Yeah, and you know, I'm I'm thinking about a, a roof for me fire pit as well. But that, I'll, I'll, I'll be making that. Oh, you, you didn't like that? Grill yeah, but thing. it won't keep the rain out. I'm I'm thinking if we're camping ah. and it rains, and and I want to have my fire banked so as I can. I don't want my ash to get wet. Right. <laughs> I wouldn't, I don't think I'll bother with it. Well, I don't no, know about the ash. No. If it's wet, I ain't gonna stay, stay out in it. I ain't gonna have the fire all nice and warm and I'm a cold out in the rain. No. You know, the idea is get a bloody stove for that, isn't it? Well, that's, that's the ultimate then, isn't it? Yeah, but I don't know if I'm going to use it. Yeah. If I was gonna cut a hole, if I was gonna buy a stove, then it would be time to cut a hole in the van, wouldn't it? Poke it out. Right. But then I don't want to do that. No. And you know, because we're going away, it all depends how much you know. Yeah. No. How much give it, you give use it some it. time. If, yeah. if we're going to do it and do it a bit, then yeah, I'll give it some serious thought. Yeah. Well, it's, it's more. It's one. It's more when it's cold out or when it's raining that, that the stove is going to come in handy in the tent. Yeah, isn't but it? we are in England, don't we? Yeah. You know, it does rain. 
maybe not and it's, it's, it, it all depends on you know what we're gonna do yeah and, and to be fair you know we're gonna get the odd shower and things but we're never gonna go away when it's forecast to be four days of rain no we're not gonna come down here if there's four days of rain are we no unless we think oh that's only exciting. When, yeah it's only when we get it wrong really well, we might come if if I, have a, if I do get a stove and it's raining, it'd be like, yeah, let's go down here. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to. <laughs> yeah. So, well, it depends. Yeah, for, for four days, cracking, cracking four days. Yeah. You know, a little bit of misly rain, a bit of wind, a bit of sunshine, a bit of fog, a bit of everything, really, wasn't it? Yeah. So we're both very happy then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Had a good time. Yeah, well, that's yeah. a result. Yeah. Should we cut? Cut! <laughs>